Hey guys, this is my big PC here. Showed this off in a recent video when I put in a wireless card. Well, today I'm going to add in another set of USB 3s uh, on a PCI Express. So I uh, thought I'd just do another video and uh, crack this open. And while I'm in there, what I've got to do is I've got to take out my old wireless card. Uh, so just thought I'd do another quick video, share that with you guys, uh, show you exactly what's involved in these sorts of things. Again, I'd like uh, you guys to feel confident about getting inside your PCs and you know not being too worried about about doing this sort of thing. Cool, I'm just going to make sure I'm pretty well grounded here. Just take that off. We're looking inside again. Uh, you can check out the other video where I put this card in, but underneath down there uh, is the other wireless card. I'm just going to zoom in for you here. So this down here underneath is the other wireless card, so I'm going to have to fish that out. Uh, in order to do that, I've got to take this plate off as well, so I'll just get on and do that and uh, be back in a second. Okay, guys, so the first step is going to be taking this card out. Uh, I'm just going to do that quickly here. Again, making sure that I'm uh, well grounded. Okay, so I've got that out, and now I need to uh, remove this, this in here. So to do that, it uh, looks like there's a little screw in there I've got to get to. You can see how beautifully this little card's just jumped uh, straight up, which is great. Uh, and this is a little antenna, and this antenna, let's just see where this goes here. Huh. Not sure where those two little wires go. Uh, that might take a little bit of work to figure out. And usually, this just appears to be attached to the old plastic. For no reason other than that's where it's attached. So I might just uh, disconnect these two and leave them inside the case here. Now it's time to replace this. Just again, going to make sure that I'm very well grounded. There we go. Okay, now that that's down, uh, it's time to time to pop in the other card. Okay, and as I showed before, this is just a, a USB 3 PCI Express card. I'm just doing this to increase the number of USB 3 ports that I have available on the computer. I just need to get this guy out of here. Slide that in like that. There we go. Okay, now I want to make sure that these little wires are as tucked away as they can be before I close this up. All right, well now it's just a matter of closing this all back up. And the reason I disconnected the Wi-Fi card is that the other Wi-Fi was still connecting. Uh, and when it did, it prevented the wireless AC from connecting. So uh, by doing this in this way, um, now only the wireless AC can connect, so it'll be simpler. Again, it's just a PC, so it's easy to get inside and play with it and do whatever it is you want with it. Now that I've taken this little chip out, I can uh, move that on. It looks like it came with a CD driver, but uh, this thing looks a little bit old. Windows 8.1, so hopefully uh, Windows 10 will just know what to do, but there's a driver on there. So, yeah, I'll have a play, see what happens. Uh-oh. That looks like power. Let's see what that is. Connect the power connector with the power supply. I have clearly missed a step here, and that's to plug this thing in. So, let's get back at it. Now let's hope that I do have an extra bit of power coming off of my power supply. It's not something that I've really considered. 
up to this point. Well, those are actually identical. So this bit of power will actually do the trick. Which again is good because I don't have any other bits of power available. So there we go. The power is now connected. I didn't actually need this. All right, let's put it back together and see if it works. Well, thanks again, guys, for checking out my videos. Don't forget to check out my other PC-related videos. Of course, my Raspberry Pi and other small electronic device uh, videos. Lots of cool stuff. Don't forget to subscribe. If you have any comments or questions about how I did this today, uh, please put those in the comment section below. Thanks again.